Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on the HashiCorp certification website looking at Terraform Associate. And we're going to take a look here at the exam guide because I have some commentary that I want to share with you about it. Uh, and what I found really interesting with the way they design their courses is that everything that you see pretty much shows up on the exam. So there is 57 questions of the exam, and but down below here, there's just shy of 57 uh, subdomains. And so the great thing here is that pretty much every single question will map to one of these. And you're not going to be worried about having to figure out things outside of this pool. So that really is going to narrow what you need to study for. Uh, and it creates a lot of less uh, like confusion or guesswork or overstudy. And I really appreciate that. And I did not until I actually uh, finished, like I got certified and made the lectures in the labs and my practice exams. And I realized, wow, that makes it a lot easier from a study perspective. But when I came into this, I thought the exam was going to be something like AWS where what they do is they have all these domains and subdomains and subtopics. And then besides that, then they also have like appendix and then the service and features list. And so basically more than half, like half of more than half of the stuff that they say here, you might not even experience an exam. And that's really frustrating because you're really overstudying here. And I really like HashiCorp's approach here. So if you really do want to know what you need to know, just go down the list here and say, do I know what all of these things are? And if you can checkbox those off, you're very likely to pass, okay? Um, I do want to say that this is uh, dated, even like right now as we talk, because this is not based off of Terraform 1.0, this exam guide outline. And we can tell because we see Terraform taint. If you look up Terraform taint, this is a deprecated command. Um, so it has been replaced with Terraform apply. Uh, with the hyphen replace, but do not worry. I have taken care of all of that for you in the exam, so you do not have to worry about any kind of confusion. We are going to cover things outside of just this exam guide outline because after talking to DAs, uh, their technical writers, product marketers, I feel that there's going to be additional content coming in the update like Terraform Cloud because I feel like that needs a lot more attention here. And so I was, I was sure to pack this course with a lot of extra stuff so that the lifespan of this course is going to be a lot longer than what is being shown here, okay? So... Yeah, uh, hopefully that gives you kind of an idea and some confidence going into this exam. Uh, but let's jump into the real content, okay?